think that's my turn. I think that's 2019, but yeah, okay. awesome wow. experience. Wow. Okay, so if you are somebody who loves Disney, maybe you should be with somebody else who loves it as much <laughs> as you do. That's right. So if you are single and ready to mingle and you love Disney, well, there is a new website called Mouse Mingle. I think it's been around for... Maybe a a, about a year though, right? Mm. Like I don't think. I know we talked about it that. a long time ago. So I, the idea is it has the same formula of other dating services, except they dive down and they really find out what you like about Disney. So like the songs, the characters, what's your favorite cartoon? So there is a dating site for everything right now, <laughs> but this one, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's. Pretty so, specific, you know, so if you're a Disney it, person. It, it, you Mouse right. Mingle. I like Wreck-It Ralph. You like Frozen. We can't. Well, well I, think, I think the main thing, though, is if you're one of these people who has the annual pass and you want to go every weekend and you're all about it and you want to do it, Abigail's going to have to tell me in my ear because I forgot the name of that thing where you dress. Adults can't wear the costumes, so you oh, dress yeah. in a way. Disney bounding. Thanks, girl. Okay, Disney bounding <laughs> where, you know, you dress in mm -hmm. a way that resembles... One of the characters, because adults can't walk in yeah, and dress yeah. like they a, will, a character. They'll get you out of there. <laughs> it's like no that. longer the happiest place so, on earth. But, but if you're one of those people, you should totally find somebody else who is also like See, that. See, we talked about this before. I don't know if it's healthy if you have an extreme person that's a fanatic about something, and then that person lines up with another fanatic, because then you just have... I feel like two crazy people. <laughs> well, you one's might. Feeding the other. You might. And your offspring that you will have will be equally as crazy. So, wait, wait, so we have to consider that people in our group have a significant other that are as into Disney as they are. I think you have to have that balance. <laughs> you have to have that, the circle of life, as Disney would say. Well, I don't know. I don't know if you are better off finding somebody who's going to bring you down a little bit or finding somebody who's just going to enjoy it with you either way. I think I to know. function in society. <laughs> Uh, maybe have someone that balances you out a little bit is a healthy <laughs> approach to life. Maybe so. However, I will say this. Don't think you're changing the other person. <laughs> Don't go into it thinking, oh, I'm going to convert him, and he's going to want to go to Disney all the time, and he'll wear these suspenders. <laughs> <laughs> because he doesn't probably want to. So uh, if you are single or newly single, you might be interested in this survey. A new survey by Elite Single says 10% of people do want to be dating within a week of ending their previous relationship. They want That's to get back out there. 26.5% um, of people say within a month. 31% uh, say that within a month of dating someone, they reveal their salary to them. What? Months. Within a month. Um, I guess that's kind of serious, mm -hmm, a month into it, right? Mm -hmm. Do I, I'd have to know my salary, wouldn't I? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because 13% uh, of singles say that being successful is an attractive trait. That's low, 13%. I would think being successful is an attractive trait to more people. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean not, it's not a deal breaker, I wouldn't think, but... I would it think might be, because if it. I... I mean, I, the fella has to tote a little bit of the note initially, but if you got to tote it the whole time, I mean... Tote the note? Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I like a lady that makes her own bread. Come on, make okay. that money, you know? All right, and within the first month, did you and your wife reveal each other's salaries? Uh, I don't think so. I didn't wasn't making any money, so it didn't really so matter. Yet, she's, <laughs> as so long she's as clearly could, not it was, in that. It was pretty transparent. <laughs> as long as we could pay for drinks that weekend, everything was good. You guys go out for dinner and you just like slide the check over. Like, you know my situation. I can't float this note. <laughs> That's what you would say. Well, I like this. So you were saying, what, 10% of people within the first week want to date some, you know, They're somebody else. They're going to get back that, on that horse. That's a quick rebound, but I don't think that's a long term dating thing, I think that's something you're doing just to make the ex jealous. Mm -hmm. Don't you? Well, yeah. maybe. Maybe, I but... it could lead into something. Do they like, consciously know that? I don't work that way. Yeah. Single Even, in I don't work that way. Like, I need time. I want to learn about that person. Do yeah. we have yeah. any singles in here? Anybody got single? an opinion? How long <laughs> They're between? Like, no, this is I TV. I don't it helps it you get over somebody. <laughs> And it does help you get over somebody, but you don't want to be that rebound person, right? Right. It's good right. to know. All right, switching gears. Uh, there are words that some of us just cannot spell, right? Well, did you know that it varies state by state? I did know that. And it's kind of appropriate because the National Spelling Bee just launched, uh, was it yesterday, day I think before? So, yeah, we're yeah. being so, represented. You know. So I got second place in my third grade spelling bee. So nice. I think I'm pretty on point. But, you know, there are some people who are having some issues with their spelling. <laughs> I'm not going to say point anything with I, the thumbs. And, but. and I'll take it. I know I am. <laughs> but, uh, yes, yeah, state by state, Georgia has an issue spelling gray. So, but... 
But aren't there two ways to spell it? There are. But um, maybe even three. But again, I'm not the person that. No, but online sources say Americans should spell it G R A Y and not G R E Y, which oh. is the British version. British. That might have been a little Scottish. What is, so, the Korean, what is it saying on the Korean? Uh, for who? On the crayon. Oh, the uh, I feel like it said with an E. I, I feel like it did. Oh, yeah. Wisconsin, they can't spell their own state name. Well, that's kind of sad. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, Mississippi, I can understand not being able to spell that. I remember growing up, am I crooked letter, crooked letter. That's probably a Texas thing. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, Connecticut <laughs> and West Virginia can't spell supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Why is that on there? <laughs> I don't not a real know. word, folks. Uh, in Mississippi, nanny. That's all okay, I'm going to say and, on and that. And what about Florida? In Florida, receipt. I before E except after C. That's okay. all you gotta know. Yeah, I still okay. can't spell it. <laughs> I can't spell Wednesday. Well, what are the other words that letters You can't in there? spell Wednesday? Wednesday gives me a lot of, lot of trouble. Wednesday. Well, I tried to remember Who created that, that word? I don't is know. My, I had the problem, like, if I'm writing, like, a document in Word or something like that, I'm such a bad speller, it doesn't recognize <laughs> even what I'm trying to say. It, it doesn't even have a suggestion. <laughs> and then I feel really dumb, and then I'm like, what should I take out of here? Should I remove an S or something? And then still, and then it's it's bad. I I'm not a good speller. I won't lie. I, sometimes I have problems with tomorrow, depending on the day. Like, is it two M's? Is it two R's? It's four. Right. Right. It's four. <laughs> but, uh, tomorrow. Sheriff is also the one that gives me trouble. Two I R's, two F's. Well, you have a lot of runs with Got the law, so you should know that by now. I really need to know how to spell that. <laughs> <laughs> Traffic citation, you know all these. <laughs> kind of got to know that stuff. Well, uh, hopefully you're getting everything correctly spelled when you're writing your college essay. At least it will help as far as getting in, right? Yeah, and this is a, a really crazy story. So this girl wrote an essay, and it was on Papa John's pizza and the whole delivery process and how she loved it. Again, that was her essay. And Yale said, we love it. And she actually got accepted to Yale. And that was a part of it. You know, obviously she had good grades and all that other stuff. And her name was Carolina Williams. So congratulations. But here's the interesting part of it. She didn't pick Yale to go to. She decided to go to Auburn for school. I could get down like that. I mean, Yale's an awesome school, very prestigious. But I want to have a little fun in college. So Auburn, football, uh, some well, sports. The thing that she obviously did a great job because the person that reviewed her essay over at Yale ordered a Papa John's pizza <laughs> right afterwards, right after reading her essay. So she must have did a great job. I need to read this. Process. I need to read this essay. What? I, know. I mean, she must have written a very compelling essay. Yeah. My essay only got me into college in Arkansas, so that tells you how bad it was. I don't remember writing the essays. I, I don't. I, and I know I did because I, I got in sure. <sighs> we know who I'm did your positive. homework in college. I did. <laughs> Most of the time. But once you got, I don't know, I can't remember either writing mine, but I, but then that, Thank mine you. was a lot long, <laughs> lot longer ago. We, you had to handwrite the essay, right? Well, no, we had typewriters. <laughs> We had typewriters. We had what's, what's word a typewriter. A typewriter. What's that? A typewriter. Yeah. What is it? Well, you will never know. I'm never <laughs> telling you. I'm not going to share with you that information. So, like, when when I was in school, we were right at the age where everything was going online. So, freshman year, first semester, everything was on paper to register for a class, and then the Second semester, everything was online, mm -hmm. and that was really crazy. So, it was actually kind of scary. Did you have to feed it through the machine on paper? For the first semester, the second semester, you just went on there, and you would just put in a code, and you would just like stare at the computer because it would pause, and then it would be like, <laughs> enrolled in the class. You're like, woo! It was like winning the lottery, right? Oh, totally, yeah. Well, because, and you were an athlete, too, mm -hmm. so you had to be done with school at a certain time over to get over to the stadium to practice. So you had to make sure that you had everything done ahead of time. So if you didn't get those classes, you'd have to push them off for another year or so. I was of the generation where word processors were, like, the big thing, or everybody had to go to the computer lab. So it was like if a friend had a word processor, you were like, oh! I took typing in... Uh, high school, so I actually made money using the word, somebody else's word processor. And you were a good S's. speller. I was a good speller. Look at, you. Look at Which that. Was good, because a, you good catch did, back in the day. It was when you did use a typewriter, you had to use white out. You remember yeah. that? And he and then he made all that money and revealed it to his girlfriend in the first month, and she <laughs> fell in love and happy. That, and look, watch this. And they lived happily ever, ever. after. Wow.